Hello everyone, it's going towards the end of the year 2019 and if you're thinking about making your own planner for 2020 out of a notebook in a minimalistic way, I will show you how you can do it. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. My name is Stephanie and welcome to my channel Little Stephanie Big World. This is a A5 format notebook with 160 line pages for the layout and pages that I want to incorporate for 2020. Uh, it is perfect. You can take whatever uh, notebook you have and you can of course change the layouts as you need them for yourself. I will show you how I have made a planner out of this notebook just using a ruler a black fine liner and just this teeny tiny uh, stamp. I will go through the whole setup with you and then I will show you how I'm going to use the planner on a day-to-day -day basis. So I use this blank first page for the title. I just put 2020 in a very minimalistic and simple way. I can't draw so I didn't do any any doodles. Then I decided which goals uh, I want to achieve in 2020. Um, I didn't put all of them in yet as some of them are very personal goals. I did write down um, a few of them. Um, I show you how these yearly goals translate into monthly goals and then translate into weekly and daily to-dos. And at the end of the year I will say if I have achieved each goal or not. And I will show you that as well. On the next two pages I just put um, a monthly overview. I didn't do them too neatly um, because this is not a bullet journal where I could line this out as well and for me this is um, totally okay. I just wanted to say um, I just want to see the weeks and uh, the days in uh, each uh, month, uh, what days they are on. Then I have two full pages for the monthly overview, so this is January 2020. Here I will put in birthdays, events and very very important uh, deadlines. And I have some space here for notes. So then I have another two pages for each month, so this is the same for each month. On the left side I have my goals. I have four main categories. So these are for my career goals, for my uh, day job. Um, these are the travel goals which also includes this um, channel, this YouTube channel for my travel scrapbooks. Um, then I have the childcare goals for my daughter who will turn two years old in the year 2020. And then I have my health goals. Then down here, book to read, I will put down which book I want to read in this month because my yearly goal, as you can see uh, here, is to read 12 grown up books. So basically one book per month. Then I have the money that I want to save for ETFs and the um, marriage goals. So this is all the goals that I have for that month. And then I have my habit tracker. This um, notebook doesn't have 31 lines so I couldn't do like 31 columns and, and, and put the habits here and just cross it or make points or make it, you know, in a way that you could see all the habits in, in one and I didn't want to do this in a different way than the layout of all the other pages so I decided to do it uh, like this I've put the numbers um, of the days of each month so from 1 to 31 and I have four habits here that I want to track each month so these are in every month uh, there and I can put five more habits um, in each month that I want to track and I'm gonna decide at the beginning of each month uh, which uh, new habits I want to to uh, track and to incorporate in my life. 
And then I have the weekly spreads um, over two pages. So on um, the left hand side I have the days, like uh, this is starting in December 2019. And then you can see here the six glasses of water which I've done with this uh, tiny stamp. And my goal is uh, for my health goals, I put it in here, to drink on average six glasses of water per day. So if I drink six glasses of water each day and I color this in, then I have that average. It should normally be more than that. So I will put like uh, plus two, for example, if I drink eight glasses of water or I'm just going to color in five or three, um, how many glasses I drink that day. In, on the side uh, it uh, will be just for my very very important to do's for that day I will put that on the left side what I need to do and I'm gonna cross them off or migrate them to the next week or to the next month what I need to do and then this right side uh, I'm gonna use this as a kind of a mini diary so this is gonna also be this planner is also a memory keeping tool for me because I don't have the time anymore to write like extensive diaries this notebook I was thinking of doing this as a diary but then uh, it's easier to just write down okay what happened on that day and then I'm gonna use this information for my projects like my project life or for the yearly books that I want to do for my daughter and also for my travel scrapbooks like if, if we travel over Christmas and New Year's Eve we, we're actually gonna be in uh, Portugal uh, until the 4th of January um, so I'm gonna write down what happened in these days I'm gonna do use this for my uh, scrapbook for Portugal. As a motivational kick, I've put one travel related quote for each week on the top of the right hand side um, and I found some really cute and fitting short quotes on the internet to just put it um, up there. So this layout, so the monthly spread, the monthly overview, the goals, the habit trackers, and then the weekly spreads with the travel related group and the classes for the drinking is always the same for the whole year. I've just put it in, here's March, all the way to all the pages. And then at the very end, I have um, one page to review my goals. So I'm gonna put in um, if I reached that goal, if I've read 12 books or more or less, and if I've reached my savings uh, goal and my travel goals, I will put it in here. On this side, uh, I have the important events. So for each month, I'm gonna put in the three most important events that happened on this um, particular month in 2020. And then on this very last page of 160 pages, I don't know what to do with it. I'm, I'm actually really, um, I don't know what, what I can do. Do you have any tips or do you have any ideas what I could do with this last page before um, uh, we are moving all on to the year 2021? If you have any ideas, please comment below. Let me know, link me to any ideas on Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, whatever. Uh, I have really no idea what, what to do with this uh, very last page. So now I will show you how I am planning on translating my yearly goals into monthly goals and then into weekly uh, daily to-dos. For example, my health goal over here. Walk over 10,000 steps on 75% of the days because there are always going to be days where you can't walk a lot, where you're traveling a lot, you're sitting in the office uh, for hours and hours and hours, you're sitting in a car on a road trip or something. So I said 75% of days I should be able to walk more than 10,000 steps. So that's about 275 days, which I'm going to be doing that. So for January, my health goal is going to be to download a very good step counting uh, device or um, going to buy a step counting device 
uh, put that in here and then as uh, another goal would be to go off the subway on the way to work to my day job uh, one stop earlier so I have to walk that last 10-15 minutes um, to work and also back so that's the first one for, for January and then uh, for my habit tracker walk over 10,000 steps I'm gonna circle the days or I'm gonna each um, habit's gonna be one color and I'm gonna color the days to say um, on which days I actually um, achieved my goal or not. And then let's say for um, February, so here's my February goal spread, I'll be like, okay, I want to do some walks with my family and friends and I'm gonna have a look um, if I have some events and uh, things already written down here gonna do uh, have a look at the days where it's not so busy and planning walks let's say for the 12th of February and on the 5th of Je uh, February like one week before I'm gonna be calling uh, someone so that's gonna go in here gonna here call someone uh, call uh, a friend to go for a walk um, check the weather forecast maybe for that weekend so we have to reschedule or whatever and that will go on each uh, month and then at the end of the year I'm gonna count the days that I circled or color marked for 12 months put that together and see at the end of the year okay did I reach 275 days or not so it's gonna be either in green yeah I've done it it's more than 725 days or in red like now it's it was less than that so the second example, uh, I think everyone has that, is like a um, financial goal. So I put in um, save 3000 euros on top of what, what I'm already saving for retirement or for, for our daughter. So I want to save an additional 3000 euros. At the moment I'm able to save about 150 to 200 euros per month. So I need to get stable at 200 euros at the beginning of the year and then increase it to like 300 euros or so or the rest of the year to save in total 3000 euros. So my goal for January 2020 would be to save um, 200 uh, euros at the beginning of the month and then towards the month, uh, throughout the month I have to cut the expenses. Um, I'm already doing an expense tracking together with my husband and I have identified areas where I could cut off uh, more money. So I will put this in the according months, um, for example for January, um, I want to cancel my uh, bank account, it costs me money every month and I will solely use my new bank account which is for free and that I have opened a few months ago and by January all transactions should have been moved move to this new account and at the end of the month we're going to tick off that to do uh, migrate that to the next month and at the end of the year I'm going to accumulate it and see okay did I save 3000 euros or not and my third example um, this is a little bit more complicated this is my travel goal visit one country I haven't been to this is um, a little bit more complicated as I have not yet an idea when we want to travel, what our budget will be, how long we can travel based on the country um, we want to go to, how we can take an leave together. So in January my um, travel goal down here will be to research some countries that I am interested in going um, to I'll take some time to, to research, let's say three countries. I'm gonna write down, okay, research three countries, and then in the monthly overview, I'm gonna see, okay, which days are not so busy, um, and then in the evening, um, let's say these weekends are very busy, but then after that, in this week, there's not so much to do. So let's see for the 20th of January I'm gonna put in research three countries just having a very very rough look okay we have not been where could we go is it something I would like to go 
and maybe the next day as well. And then for February, so let's have a look at February. I'm gonna be putting into detail some possible routes for these three countries, or so just two of them. Um, with a rough budget and at the beginning of March, for example, my husband and me will have a very detailed look at our calendars or maybe earlier for possible times where we can take annual leave together. And then after that, we've when we've decided, okay, these countries we could go to, um, it's going to be two or three weeks. If it's a more expensive country, we're just going to be going for two weeks. If it's a more... Um, it's a country where it's cheaper to travel, it's going to be more like three weeks and it's possible to travel in um, like July or August and then over the next months I'm going to be putting accordingly, okay, I have to budget it in more detail, I have to do some more research, I'm going to have to book the flights and trains and hotels, accommodations, everything like this and do our holiday plans and then also uh, planning on what I'm going to take with me to do some scrapbooking on the go or how I'm going to do the travel journal so this will all go in over the next months into these uh, travel goals and then at the end of the month uh, end of the year gonna be seeing okay did I travel did I visit a country that I've never been to or not um, I'm actually very happy with this very minimalistic planner setup so it was very hard for me to stick to it. Um, I would consider uh, using these planner stickers that I bought for just one euro. They have loads and loads of different different stickers in there. I've got that one in a different um, color. Um, I haven't opened it yet, but it's more like uh, more pinkish, and this is more more blue. Or I was thinking like, oh yeah, I could use some, some stickers and I was thinking, oh, these ones when it's sunny or if it's rainy, if it's cloudy, I could put this in, like uh, the monthly overviews and stuff. Um, I have some more stickers or with to-do and um, appointments and big day, so that would look like really cute and... Of course, uh, I need to use some, some washi tape, um, I could write on these washi tapes because they are, they are just blank. And then this tiny step is actually from a set and there's lots of travel related things like a camera and a plane and the luggage. Uh, I was thinking oh, I could use all this stuff and I could literally make this planner loads and loads prettier. But as soon as I was starting thinking about, oh, I could use these stickers and this, it would feel like I need to do more, I need to put in more, and then the embellishments would actually take over the planner, and I would be so busy making everything pretty, and then I would have less time to plan, to think about, okay, what can I do, how can I improve my, my habits, uh, how can I take more time to read something? So yeah, I'm actually taking time out of not decorating that planner, reading my book, something like this. But maybe I'll change my mind somewhere along the year 2020 and add embellishments at the end, but let's see. If you like, I can make a video about the progress in this planner mid-year or at the end of the year and show you how I used it and which goals I read, what were the important events and what did I actually do with this last page at the end. Just let me know in the comments below and I can do another video of this. So now I'm gonna actually use this supplies that I didn't use for this planner and direct it towards some further travel scrapbook projects because coming up are my scrapbooks about my travels to Morocco, to Pisa, to Thailand and Sri Lanka and then we are actually going on to another trip to Portugal so that's gonna be done as well. I'm gonna do all these projects in different album sizes. So stay tuned to my channel and scrapbook on. Bye!